Well, I'd like to welcome you back again to the Barnabas Study. My name is Philip Harrelson, and uh, I am uh, doing some book reviews here today, just kind of some book recommendations. Now, I do have a little bit of a, uh, a agenda. I guess all these videos have an agenda of some sorts. Uh, but I uh, mentioned some books to you by David Limbaugh uh, that cover the ministry of the Lord. And again, early, if you're just seeing these videos, maybe it's early 2024 or it's toward the end of the uh, last week in 2023. Uh, but again, the question is this, is what would, you, what would happen to you personally? Uh, if in 2024 you just decided that you were going to spend a uh, certain amount of time uh, working with just information, uh, biography, if you want to call it that, background history about the Lord, uh, what what would uh, what would you look like at the end of 2024 if there was just a just an immersion into uh, the books about the Lord and your interaction with Scripture. So with that in mind, I want to uh, recommend uh, some books to you. Now this book right here, uh, I have I had to read this book. I went to a seminary uh, after I uh, graduated from Texas Bible College and moved back here to uh, Dothan. And uh, this book is a book called The Words and Works of Jesus Christ. Uh, it's, it's written by a man by the name of J. Dwight Pentecost. And uh, this was the actual textbook. Now, the textbook, this is a newer copy. Uh, up, I don't know. That, I don't, it hasn't been updated, but it's just got a newer copy. The other one that I use is highlighted, written in. It's down here right behind me. I've got all my uh, books on the Lord and various things like that. But this book right here was a, it, it was just an excellent a uh, book for me to get involved in and uh, the thing that I liked and appreciated about this was it really worked kind of as as a harmony of the Gospels. You could almost take an A.T. Robertson's Harmony of the Gospels and lay it open beside you and uh, as you were having to read through, of course now we were having to read through it and uh, cl had class lectures and then tons of homework. Uh, that was in that class. It was a master's level class, and so it was pretty pretty intense. And uh, so we had to do a lot of reading, a lot of writing, and then class lectures uh, that we were involved in. And this book, just a tremendous book uh, that I enjoyed reading. Now, the other thing that that this book does is uh, is uh, Pentecost. What he what he does is he he does a lot of footnotes and uh, that sort of thing. And so what he did, what I ended up doing uh, with these footnotes is I tracked down some of the uh, books that he had, had written. Uh, and I've got uh, J.W. Shepard, The Christ of the Gospels. I've got it right down here. Uh, Alfred Edersheim, I'm going to talk about that here in just a second. The Life and Times of Jesus, the Messiah. Um, I got that one. Uh, A.M. Fair. Uh, Barren Studies in the Life of Christ. Uh, I ended up with that book. Um, it's sitting down over here behind me. Uh, I do not have this book. I've got some other books of his by Graham Scroge. Now, the book that they mention is A Guide to the Gospels. I, I've got his book, The Guide to the Psalms, and then another book that he wrote called The Unfolding Drama of Redemption. And what that does is starts in the Old Testament and works through. So again, that that's a, a good book uh, to to find your to to be involved in. Um, there's another book uh, that is written by a fellow by the name of Plummer, and I got. A copy of it that's in horrible shape. I found it in a uh, used bookstore, and it, it's it's in bad shape. It's it's all probably ought to be retired, but I I just haven't uh, done that yet. But uh, the other books, Life and Times, uh, Shepherd's Book, Fairbrain's Book uh, on on the Life of Christ. Uh, was again was just a really helpful deal. And the other thing too about Pentecost book, you can see this. It's a bibliography that's loaded. So if you want to track things down, and again, I you know I, I do believe if we're going to know the Lord, I know some people want to put it off on a 
a matter of well, if I pray enough, if I, you know, get in enough, you know, services, it really kind of moves me to a place toward emotion. Then those things are good. It's important for us to pray, important for us to be in services like that. But at the end of the day, if you're going to know who the Lord is, you're going to have to dig into His Word. And these are just study helps to help us. This book right here, uh, now again, this is an updated and this is called uh, The Life and Times of Jesus the Messiah. It's written by Alfred Edersheim. I would recommend that you buy this copy uh, because the, the typeset has really been improved. I've got the one uh, that was published, I think it's by Hendrickson, it was published years ago. It's one of the first books that I ever bought. My brother-in-law uh, told me about it because Brother Griffin mentioned it in their class uh, there at TBC, and, and that was really, uh, has been a good, because he goes, into a lot of background Jewish history and uh, it can be a tedious book as far as reading uh, but again there's some very good things that you can come out of this now this one was kind of a little bit uh, off of the beaten path and you probably have seen uh, the uh, Bill O'Reilly what's called the killing series killing Reagan killing Lincoln and etc. This one is called Killing Jesus, and uh, I bought this one again on a whim uh, from Barnes and Noble. I, I started reading this book, and I'm telling you the background uh, that that Bill O'Reilly and Martin Dugard get into uh, really very very helpful, uh, especially when he gets in and he talks starts talking about Herod and describes Herod. Uh, you talk about a rascal. Oh, man, he was just an absolute heathen of a political re political leader. And, uh, and, I, and I found out the information in this. Now, the other thing that's very good about uh, this book that, um, um, that Bill O'Reilly wrote is in the back. Uh, they've got some sources where that they give... Uh, their sources. I found that very helpful. Um, he Rome and Jerusalem by Martin Goodman, uh, Rubicon by Tom Holland. If you're not familiar with Tom Holland, he's written a lot of books about uh, the Roman Empire and uh, gets into the deal. Got a book called Crossing the Rubicon or a Rubicon. Uh, he does an excellent job with that. Um, uh, the Complete Roman Legions by Nigel Pollard and uh, Joanne Berry. Uh, the Roman Army, em uh, edited by Chris McNabb. And here's what happens. Once you start digging in and studying, what that does, it broadens your mind. And uh, you start digging in and finding other resources. So I would commend that volume to you. Now, uh, again, this one is a little bit in, um, another uh, sort of a... Um, a book that's somewhat off the beaten path, but this is a book uh, by John MacArthur, and it's more of a, I guess you would say, uh, it's kind of like, it could be used kind of like a devotional, uh, but what it, what it does is in this book, this is called One Faithful Life, and it's a harmony of the life and writings of the Apostle Paul, and what you find is even into the the part where uh, that Paul talks about uh, his life. There are a lot of things that he weaves in here uh, about the life uh, of the Lord, and he's also got a companion volume that's called the one, called One Perfect Life. That is that one in itself is focused in on the life of the Lord, and uh, that book I don't have it here with me. It's actually at, at home, uh, but I would I would commend these four volumes to you if you you decide that you want to kind of move into uh, spending some time just knowing about the Lord and uh, these are just very helpful books that I think would be beneficial additions to you. So uh, the Lord bless you and thanks for stopping by and until next time uh, thanks for watching.